Welcome again, YouTubers, to another Star Wars video. Okay, so I know I don't do a ton of Star Wars videos. It's mainly because I just don't have the time to make those happen in addition to Walking Dead and Game of Thrones. But since today is Star Wars Celebration, and they dropped the Episode 8 teaser trailer for the upcoming Star Wars film. Of course, I gotta be excited and I gotta make a video all about it and reviewing what exactly happened. We're gonna break it down. We're gonna try to get into the little details of the stuff that you may have missed from the trailer. Okay, so the trailer starts off. Of course, you see Rey training. Rey, last we saw in episode seven, she went to this planet, found Luke Skywalker. They had a really weird stare off between one another and you assume that they're gonna start training together because Rey apparently is force sensitive. She's down there. She's training she has her hand on the ground starting to make it shake and she has luke skywalker asking her what do you feel and then she comes back with the answer the light side the dark side and while those things are being asked of her we see a little bit of a sequence change we see like a general table presumably for the resistance and we assume that it is leia that is the one they're looking at the back is turned to the camera now this is hard to hear but if you listen you can hear leia from episode four going, help me Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. So listen for that, and then not long after, right when Rey is about to say, the dark side, you see the smashed helmet. I assume that was Darth Vader's helmet being smashed by Kylo Ren, but if you look closely, you can see the metal above the eye part of the helmet. That is clearly part of Kylo Ren's helmet and not Darth Vader's. You hear his breathing, and then following up on that, you hear old Ben Kenobi going, seduced by the dark side. And that was something that was really tough for me to hear, but I heard that when I was listening the second or third time, and I went, oh my God, calling back to the old franchise, which is brilliant that this one does. I mean, you gotta give a kind of a shout back to that stuff in order to appreciate what's moving forward and what artistically is gonna be done with these new characters. Then after that, you could see a ton of new action. You see all these new ships that are part of the resistance. You see Finn, who's kind of like fallen asleep in whatever ship he's in. Glad that you showed up for the trailer, Finn. It's only a big deal. It's only celebration. It's only episode eight. We've only been waiting for this for decades. Glad you showed up, bud. After that, we see Poe Dameron in BB-8 running around doing what they do best, which is running away from explosions and danger. And uh, that's pretty true to form for them. Hopefully a little bit, a little bit more happens to them in the next movie. We do see a quick snippet of Kylo Ren in the trailer. You don't really get to see very much. You just get to see Kylo holding his lightsaber really close to his face like this. And you know, after the ending of Star Wars Episode 7, I thought maybe he lost his lightsaber, he would have to make a new one. And no, it looks like he still has the same one with Crossblade, the same one that's still unstable. Because at this point, he should be training with Lord Snoke or maybe even be done training with Lord Snoke. So I assume that he would have also prepared a new lightsaber because his previous one, the hilt was like sort of finished, sort of not. And the lightsaber crystal he was using was really unstable, causing his blade to be all staticky, more so than the average lightsaber. So I thought maybe that would change, but no, it looks like it's not. But I also think filmmakers are very much interested in keeping it unstable because that is kind of representative of his character. If there is a character in the whole series, Star Wars 1 through 7 right now, that is what you consider to be unstable. Other than maybe Anakin Skywalker, Kylo Ren is the guy. So it makes sense that his lightsaber would be symbolic of himself. We also get to see Captain Phasma again. And I'm gonna go on a mini rant for a second about this. Captain Phasma, despite all the marketing that she got, she got such a huge push by the marketing department of episode seven. She was the most punked out character of all the characters in episode seven. She was supposed to be this big badass. I mean, as a fan of Game of Thrones, I'm a big fan of Gwendolyn Christie. And we know what Gwendolyn Christie can bring to a set and as far as an imposing presence. Phasma's big, but basically she's any other idiot stormtrooper that gets put into a trash compactor. So hopefully for episode eight, she's gonna have an increased role because from what I understand, the producers promised that she's going to have a bigger role in episode eight and they better make good on that because the Captain Phasma sucked. And even though there's a cool shot of like a bunch of space battles, you get to see the Millennium Falcon, you get to see TIE fighters facing some resistance ships, that stuff was pretty cool. But the big moment of the trailer, the thing that really made this whole two minute and two second trailer, was at the very end when Luke Skywalker is leaving some kind of cave, you assume he's talking to Rey about this, and Luke says, there's only one truth I know, and that's for the time of the Jedi to end. That was super powerful because... Luke's a Jedi, or at least we assume he is at this point, and we assume that Rey wants to learn to become a Jedi. And all we know about light side force users are Jedi, pretty much. So this throws people 
completely bonkers. Now I'm going to jump back to the beginning of the trailer, where Ray is saying, I feel the light side and feel the dark side. Then you hear Luke respond with something very subtly afterwards. It says, it's so much bigger. And that was meant in response to the light in the dark. And as far as we know as Star Wars fans, officially in canon, there is a light side of the Force, you got Luke Skywalker, you got uh, Obi-Wan, you got Yoda, you got Mace Windu, all that kind of stuff. And then you have the dark side, Palpatine, Vader, Maul, Tyrannus, all these people. Light side, dark side, that's the way it is. But Luke is suggesting that there is actually a middle ground. And that is pretty fascinating because a lot of fans of the expanded universe, they know about something called the Grey Jedi and the Grey Jedi Code. This is something that now has recently become a part of canon. And there's a chance, based off of what happened in this trailer, that this is exactly what Luke is talking about. Now, just to give you a quick idea of what the Grey Jedi are. The Grey Jedi are basically these Force users that find a way to balance between the dark and the light without totally succumbing to the dark side. They find a way to utilize both. Also, these are members of the Jedi Order that typically they didn't completely follow the whole Order Code. They didn't listen to the Jedi Council all that much. They believe in the Jedi Order, but they don't totally follow the Jedi Code or what the High Council believes. Now, a lot of people like to associate this most with Qui-Gon Jinn. In Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, he was one, like Obi-Wan said, you'd be part of the Council if you just listened. And he's like, listen, man, oh, there's so much for you to learn. And it looks like Qui-Gon may have been on his way toward that, but however, he only kind of filled the latter, and he didn't really fit the former. He didn't really embrace the dark side. So there's a possibility after this whole time of self-discovery by Luke Skywalker that he, trying to embrace the Jedi Order in the old ways through Yoda and Obi-Wan, he may have found a balance in between, maybe learning from his father, Anakin Skywalker, during his time as a Force ghost. Maybe those three influenced Luke during his time of meditation and being away, that there is a way to find true balance by towing the line as a gray Jedi. It can explain why there seems to be so much conflict in Luke. Um, it, can, it, it can explain also his robes. I know this is a really dumb thing, but gray Jedi in the past were known for wearing kind of grayer robes. And it's not like gray Jedi are really, really popular. I mean, that kind of was birthed out of the old Sith Wars. So it wasn't really around during the prequels and stuff. I don't know, maybe it's made its way back. So it'd be interesting if he means the ideology of the old Republic Jedi to go away rather than actual Jedi being bad and need to die. So that means he's not a Sith or anything. He just believes that there is a new philosophy that probably Force users should go by to complete true balance in the galaxy. And I think that's what Luke means. However, hearing something like this makes me really confident that Luke Skywalker is going to die in the next movie. Now this is based off of no spoilers or anything, that's just what I believe based off of the tone of the movie. Also it's the middle film of all the films and I like to just assume that it's like Empire Strikes Back and uh, someone we like is going to die. But that's my thoughts on the video. What do you think that happened in the teaser trailer? There are parts that you loved, parts you didn't like. I don't know. Give me a heads up. What do you think about the whole gray Jedi thing? It's absolutely fascinating. And we're just scratching the surface on what could be coming up. Now, because it's trailer day and it's Star Wars celebration, let's have a celebration of our own. I'm going to do a giveaway today. It's going to be a small giveaway, but it's going to be a giveaway nonetheless. For all of you out there, I'm going to include a link down in the description of this video. Just click on it, it'll give you a few prompts of stuff to do. Remember, it's about being a subscriber, it's mandatory, but there's a few other options, like you can watch some of my YouTube videos, you can visit me on Facebook, you can follow me on Twitter, all that kind of stuff will get you entries to win one of four prizes if you want. Now we're going to have two winners. So enter and I will give away two things to one of you. Now the four things you're going to be entering for are one. I have a Stormtrooper Funko Pop figure. As you all know, if you watch my channel, you know I love pop figures. So this is one of the items. And then the other three are action figures from Disney Infinity. This is a game that Disney had put out that is being discontinued at the moment, but the action figures are still so cool that I think they're totally worth displaying. First one, we have this Darth Vader figure. He is pretty awesome. He's reaching out, trying to force choke somebody, and he's got his lightsaber in there as well. The next one here, we have Kanan Jarrus from the Rebels cartoons. This one I'm not as familiar with right now. I still have to watch these, but it is regardlessly cool because he's got a lightsaber going. He just looks great detail. And then finally, a star kind of of this trailer, we have Obi-Wan Kenobi. This is from the prequels. This is probably episode three, between episode two and three, somewhere in there. Again, looks really cool. Got the lightsaber going. 
all kinds of fun stuff. And you can get one of these four figures if you enter the contest down below and just make sure you get your name in there, you be a subscriber, and I'll be excited to ship it to you. As long as you're in the US, my international fans, I'm so sorry, I can't ship to you. Now for all those Game of Thrones fans, sorry, I didn't post a video this past Sunday. I was in uh, New York City with my girlfriend and I was really busy, so I couldn't get a video made even though I posted one a few days before about my ice unboxing video. But know that I'll be posting a Game of Thrones video this Sunday. Check it out, hope you enjoy it. Now if you like this video, please check out some of my other videos right here. I got a ton of stuff, Game of Thrones, Walking Dead, unboxing videos, all kinds of fun things, and of course, subscribe to this channel if you wanna see some more videos in the future. Otherwise, I hope you have an amazing day. You take care. Goodbye.